this was a big one. And the uh, aftershocks from this big one um, are going to keep hitting uh, for a while. And I mean, not just aftershocks in the markets themselves, but the intellectual consequences of it. Um, and there are human beings who are responding to this. And so this is what human beings do. Sometimes they say, oh, it's all over. We can go back to normal. Um, and it would be nice if that were true. I don't actually think that is true. And we will eventually discover that. It's not necessary to convince people of that. The world will convince them of that. Okay? The, world, the world is not as we thought it was two, two years ago. Um, and so there's work to be done. In, in understanding it. I think that's great, personally. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's what I live for. It's, it's fun. Uh, now, that sounds odd because I think it's going to be hard. Okay, it's going to be hard slogging. It's going to be uh, you know, probably hard economic times, too. Um, and uh, it's not going to be fun in that regard. Um, but for somebody who lives in the world of ideas, it's, it's, it's great. The sort of, sort of rigid intellectual structures, which have been frustrating me much of my academic life, um, are, 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 are broken down. So it's a very open environment now, and um, that's very promising. You know, it's, it, it's, it's, uh, it's scary in the sense that there aren't these existing structures that you can build on, um, but I think they, it was about time that we start building in another direction. And so it's open, it's open. That's, and the openness is the promising character. It's the openness that gives me hope.